All right, guys. So let's continue from where we left off, and uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping very much that um, we can finish most of the touches on this piece in this video, and in the next, we'll take about five minutes. The next video will be about five minutes just to solidify this whole piece. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to finish this whole thing. We're gonna put in everything we need for this. To, I mean, to get it ready for solidification. And once we do the solidify, we can move on to the next piece, which is probably the door. So the next video might not be long, about just five minutes, because it's just solidifying this piece. So let's get started by finishing off this piece. So in this video, what we're going to create in, is this area we're seeing here. There's a tail light bulge. Sorry about that. That was my computer. I forgot to unplug it from my speaker. So I'm just going to do that now. Yeah, so we're going to create this area here. This piece onto which the tail light sits on. That's what we're going to create right now. So let's get into edit mode. And first off, you can see if we take a look over here, not all of the vertices are sitting right on top of the, uh, the what do you call it, the surface of this mesh here because we're taking all of this and we're shrinking it up onto the guide mesh. So all of this is pulling onto the surface. Now we have to make sure that happens before we can edit this. So let's just get out of edit mode and let's go into the uh, modifiers and let's copy the shrink rub and apply one of it. So just copy it and apply one of it like that. And now you can see it sits right on the surface everywhere. So let's go into edit mode and let's get onto side view real quick. So come on. So let's get on into side view and here's what we're gonna do. Let's go to wireframe and we're going to select, let's go into face select mode. First of all, let's align these at the appropriate points they need to be. So let's go back to vertex select mode. Let's select this. I think it's already on the line, but I'm going to send it up a little bit because I think it's too close down. And the reason I say this is because I've already tried making this thing and I realized that where this line is is too close to the very end here. And in case you're paying attention, this line here is actually representing the end of the bulge over here. And you can clearly see that it's too small. So we're going to move that up a little bit. So we're going to press G twice and let's slide that up a little bit to about there, like that. So we'll keep that over there. Now we're going to take this. And we're going to slide that up to about there, like this. And we're going to take this, slide it to the middle, about here. And finally, I think, yeah, so that is pretty much it. That is all that we need. But um, this side is too congested, so I'm not sure. For now, let's just keep it like that. In case we have to change it, we will, because I don't think that will cause any problems. So let's let's continue. But since this side is too small, I think we can put in two edge loops in there. So let's press Ctrl B and let's put two in there instead of one. So let's just put two edge loops like this so they fill out this area like that. Very nice like that. So that is looking good. Now I'm going to go back into face select mode. And I'm going to select all of these faces from here, from here, all the way to the back here. So select that one, hold Ctrl and Shift and select this one. So you can see all the ones that I have selected. Press Shift and D. And let's move this in the Y axis to about here. Alright. And let's go into the object data buttons and let's remove it from the vertex group so that it's its own object like that. So you can see what I did there. So now we're gonna go to top view and let's go into wireframe again. Change this to vertex. And let's move this back onto where it's supposed to be. So the first one, taking a look at this one, the first one needs to be here. The first one needs to be here. I think I'm gonna have to move it in the Y axis a little bit. And we also have a little bit of a problem. We also have a little bit of a problem around here. So let's take all of this, select this, make sure this is the active element. Let's go to the top view again. And I'm going to press S and an X and type in 0. With that done, we're going to share it in the X axis, or the rather the Y. Yeah, the Y. Y axis and share this all the way back to follow the line like that. So this was what we had before and this is what we have now. So that is much straighter for a better result yeah so with that again let's just select all of this and let's delete it because it's not following and let's do this again so let's select let's let's select all of those faces again which is all of this press shift and D move it in the Y axis and remove it from the vertex group like that let's go back to the top view let's change it back to the vertex group and let's go into wireframe I'm going to place this on top of them the first one over here, I'm going to pull it out till it falls right on a diagonal like that. So it's following that cabbage like that. So this one is sitting on it now. 
So we're going to deselect it. This one is also sitting on it. And we have to move this one just a little bit. Let me change the, the pivoting point to boundary box. Yeah. And I'm going to move this back to fall on the blueprint line like that. Deselect this. I'm going to make sure this also falls on it. Deselect it. Make sure the next one also falls on it like that. Deselect it. No, not two. Just no. Yeah, like that. Hold on. Like that. And pull this up to the folds right there. Let's go to. So to the folds right there. Deselect that. Now let's move this out to the folds. I don't know, maybe around here. Maybe around here like this. Yeah, let's get back to solid. And. Yeah, that should be good, I guess. That should be good. Yeah. So we're gonna go we're gonna go in here, we're gonna select this vertex or maybe this one instead. Let's first of all select all of this and hide it. So we're gonna select this one. Hold control and shift and select this one. Press X and delete those vertices like that. Alright. So that is looking good. Now let's press Alt and H to bring back the others. And what we're gonna do is we're also gonna delete I'm also going to delete all of these ones here. So select all of them and press X and delete it. So we have this nice space here. Select these four and press F. Select these two and press F all the way to around here, I guess. Yeah, so we're just going to have to dissolve. Let me see. Let me just select these three and press F. And let's select these two and press F. And uh, yeah, let me just slide this back. So about here, select these two, press F, and let's dissolve this one. Select this this one here, press G twice, slide it back. Select these two, and press F. So you can see what is going on here. I'm just gonna move over here, select all of this, and press X and delete those vertices nicely like that. And I'm going to, I'm gonna select all of these over here, press X and delete them. I'm gonna take these two, and press F like that. I'm going to take these two and press F as well, like that. Okay, hold on. Undo everything to the part where we deleted these faces. Leave the one below as well and delete these vertices instead, alright? So now we can select these ones and delete them. Select these two and press F. And let me see. I'll take all of these as well. Press X and delete them. We're going to take these four and press F nicely like that. I'm just going to select, let me just select all of these here. And let's move it in a little bit to kind of, all right, let's just leave it like that for now. Let's add in two vertices over here. Add in another two over here. Take this two, press, or take this four and press F. Take this two and press F twice, like that, to fill it into the back. And let's take these ones here and press F. Put in two edge loops here. Take this two, press F. Like that, you can see how I'm filling this very nicely, and yeah, so that is looking good. But here's what I'm going to do I'm going to take this four here, make sure this is the active element, press period and change the pivoting point to the active element, and scale this in the x axis until this is a little bit more flat, like that. And let's do the same over here select these two, press shift and S, say Kezza 2 selected, and let's select all of these as well. Press period, change the pivoting point to 3D because we press S and then X and scale this in a little bit like that. So with that done, we're going to select these, uh, let me see, maybe take all of these, take all of these, press X and delete those vertices and select this, dissolve those vertices, add in those two back in. And what next? Let's just take this one, let me just slide it all the way back here, take this, slide it all the way back here. Slide it back in place like that. And take this one as well. Slide it back in place. Like that. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Slide this all the way back. Take this. Slide it all the way back. And slide it back in place. Take this one. Slide it back in place. Like that. Or better yet, let's dissolve them. And add them back in. So like that. And I'm going to take these four. And press F. Add in two in the middle here. Take this two and press F three times. Take this two and press F three times. And you can see what we have. It's looking good already. So we're gonna take now what we're gonna do now is to take um let me see. Let's take these four first and press F. 
like that. And that gives us that circular shape. We need that. Very nice. And I'm going to add in two. And I'm going to take these two here, press F, like that. And yeah, that is looking good, I guess. And now let's get onto the side view like this, because you can see we have a little bit of an issue here. If you go to the side view, you can see there's a line, a, a pretty um, significant line here. You can see it's very much showing, and that is because of the assignment of the vertex group. So let's get onto the side view, and we're going to go into wireframe. We're going to select all the vertices right here, all of these vertices, all the way to here. Oh, come on. All these vertices all the way to here. Let's get up in, let's get back into solid and we're gonna remove them from the vertex group like that. So you can see that kind of fixes it nicely for us. We have that nice bulginess coming out. Now we just have to make sure we have that roundedness that we need over here because you can see this is more rounded, but what we have here isn't rounded enough. So I'm just gonna press Ctrl and R through here, add one in here, and add one down here. And this is pretty close to the surface enough. I'm gonna take this or maybe maybe this and press J to join them like that and hold on let me undo that maybe take this instead and press J to join them something okay undo that there was something I did in the previous I mean while I was testing this but I guess we can get away with this so just press control I mean G twice and press control and move this down about point 0.3 and press G twice and slide it back in place here like that. That gives us that nice roundedness. So I'm going to do the same thing around here. Hold this, press G twice, slide it point 0.3, I think that's point 0.4, it's not that big of a deal, and move it back in like that. So that is looking good. That is looking kind of good. So I'm going to take this one. Let me just press period and change the distance back to boundary box. I want to pull it out until it's on the surface, like that. Just pull it out a little bit more. Okay, maybe to about there. I'm not sure though. Let me pull this in a little bit. Nice. All right. So I'm gonna take this, press G twice, and I want to slide it back like that. I want to slide this back, and I want to slide this back as well. So you can see that is what that area looks like if you're taking close close look at it. You can see that area looks like that. Now there's something I'm not doing right here. Let me see. If I press J here, no, that is definitely not it. There was something I did here. I cannot quite remember what it was. Alright, let me take let me see, maybe if I take if I take all of these, let me just press the knife tool and cut this all the way to the top here like this and I'm just gonna select all of this and dissolve that edge I'm gonna press G twice and slide this to the middle and um, yeah I guess I'm just leave that there take all of this press G twice slide it back to there I'm just slide this back a little bit press control and R through here slide this back take those two and press J to join them and I'll take these two and press J to join them, like that. So you can see that is looking more like it now. All right, it's all coming out nicely. Okay, so let's press Control and R through here. Let's add in an edge loop. Press E and then F to align it with the other side, and move it in like that. Do the same thing over here, E and then F. Move it in like that. And that is looking good so far. Let me just go over to the top view. Now let me take a look at this. Wireframe. So let me see if I take if I take all of this and move it up a little bit, would that cause some problems? Not quite. But let's keep it there for now. Let's select all of this. And press F and I'm gonna hit I to insert the faces to about to about there and press X and delete the faces again like that oh no hold on undo that and let's insert the faces again to here and click on this arrow to bring up more options and disable boundary like that 
I'll minimize that again press X and delete the faces nicely like that I want to press ctrl and R through here to sharpen the bevel there and let's see what we have all right so I think that is about it that is what we wanted to achieve and we did it's looking exactly like what we needed so that is looking good that is looking very good if we will make any changes I'll have you guys know so we can do that but for now before we actually add in that bevel we added in let's go back into edit mode select all of this and let's get onto side view and here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull these out to about here I'm gonna select the ones below and pull this one out some more alright now the reason that I did that was when we inserted it, it was inside the area like this, okay, which made it more flat. But we wanted it to flow out and follow this area over here. So I had to pull it out a little bit so it sort of pulled out in an angle. So if I add in the extra edge loop now, you can see what I mean compared to what we had before. It's still not accurate, but you can see the difference now. So let's move it back out a little bit more to kind of match what we need. So I'm going to take all of this. I'm going to pull it out some more to about there. Select these, pull this out some more to about there. Yeah. So I'm just going to press G twice and slide this back in to kind of match the amount of this thing we added in there. Now let's put this back in. And I can see that looks perfect the way that I want it to. Alright, so that's what we're looking to achieve. And we finally have. It's looking good. Very good. Very very good. Let me let me try something. If I take this two and press J, that doesn't exactly give us what we need, but it's pretty close. Let me take this four and press F and see what happens. Yeah, not good. So let's leave that there. Let's undo those, including the edge we added in there. And let's keep it like this. That isn't bad. That is not bad at all. Alright, so here's one final thing we're going to do. We're going to take all of this, so you can see the ones that I selected. And we're going to press G twice and move this all the way back like this. Press G twice, press E to align it with the other side and move it back to the position again. Like this. So that is looking good. Let's change the mark cap real quick and see how good it looks in reflection. So yeah, that is, that is looking good. Very good. Well, we can achieve so we did that's looking good so I'm going to change this back to the silver my cup and nice yeah that is exactly what we wanted so yeah now a few more things we're going to do again let me just move on to the side I don't know if that's visible enough but let's begin with this let's begin with this let's get onto the side view all right so I want to take all of these, these two here, let's change to edge so it doesn't select that whole face is in the middle. So change it to edge, now you can see what I have here. I want to have an edge loop going around all of the edge that we have selected, okay? But we can't do that because there's too much, I mean the, the geometry here is too congested. So if we add one in there, it will make things too, um, too congested. So instead what we'll do is we'll just steal a little bit of the space here, okay? We're not supposed to move things in, but we're going to move it in because we need this, all right? And this is a door, so it won't really be noticeable. I mean, except in the blueprints, of course. So select all of those two edges and press F for each of them. Okay, why is it taking so long? Oh, my God. <sighs> Okay, finally, it filled. So, now I'm going to press I to insert the faces. Alright, so press I to insert the faces. That is also taking long, for some reason. Alright, we have a white screen. Now, here's what, undo, undo the insertion, and let's put up the shrink wrap first. So let's, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, tick tock. Alright, so the reason what is causing this is a shrink wrap, okay? So let's disable the shrink wrap real quick. 
So I'm gonna pull up the shrink wrap right now. And that should help a little, I guess. I mean, it's still taking time to do that for some reason. Still taking time to do that. All right, so let's just insert it to the amount, just something small like that. And press X and delete the faces. All right, so that's what we needed. We needed something small around the whole edge loop. So you can see what I've achieved here or what I was trying to achieve. You can see how nice that looks now. So let's, let's just get back in here. Now you can see the bevel isn't extending all the way to the other side. So we're going to select these edges, press N, and let's increase the mean bevel width for the edges, edges data. Increase it all the way to 1 to fill all of that area in like that. And do the same thing over here as well. So select this edge, that edge, this edge, and the one up here as well. You can see the ones that I've selected. Increase them as well to 1. So let's go back to solid, and you can see what we have. That is looking good which yeah it's looking good so that is good any other one i think there's any other one so that's pretty much all of it all of the bevels that we needed to fix and yeah let's re-enable the shrink wrap so re-enable the shrink wrap and yeah things are looking good things are looking very good so let's just get back in here and let's take let's um not sure let's go to vertex select mode and let's take all of these here first off let's bring up let's bring back our fender like this and let's take a look here i think this gap is too big so let's get onto the side view and let's fix that gap over there so i'm going to select all of this all the way to all the way to this side all the way to the very end here and let's get onto the side view we're going to move this in a y axis a little bit to close it in like that and I'm gonna move up here I'm gonna slide these up to fall on the blueprint line like that so that should be good I still think it's too big of a gap but it's fine it's not really gonna be that much of a big of a deal so um, what next let me see if I press control and R through here what does that take it all the way there it takes it all the way there so let's just Let's take all of this and let's press E and then Y. Let's move this to match up with the very end over here of this fender mesh over here. So here's what we're going to take. I'm going to make sure this is the active element. Press period. Change the pivoting point to active element. And let's scale this in the Z axis or the Z, the Z and the Y. So press shift and X to scale it in the Z and the Y only. And scale this down to match up with the diagonal area like that. So you can see what we have there. That is looking nice. And let me just press G twice and then let me just slide this in to kind of match that area a little bit more. Now we're going to move on to the side here and we're going to pull this out to match this one. So let's just press G and then X and then let's move this out to kind of match this one. Let's get to the object data buttons and let's remove it from the vertex group so you can see what I'm going for here. All right, And this is spreading too much because we don't have a supporting edge loop going through the side. So let's select this one and hide it. Let's press Ctrl and R through here. Press E to align it with the other side and move this in closely to about this point. Now press Alt and H to bring this back in. And let's select this two. Yeah, and press J to join them like that. So um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, maybe I can. Let me just take this one and then let me slide it down to about here. And. Let me just take these two, press Alt and M, say at last. I'm going to select this one, press G twice and slide it down to kind of made it up over here. And maybe I could just select this, press G twice, slide it up, slide all of this up. And I'm just going to press the Knight tool and cut this all the way to here. Now we're going to select these four here and press F to fill in the face like that. So you can see what I have. It's looking exactly what it, like what it's... I mean, it's looking exactly like this one, pretty much. So yeah, that's what I was looking to achieve. Let me just send it out a little bit more. Like that. Let me zoom in over here, because I think it might be higher than... Yeah, so let's move it in a Z axis to kind of match the height. Like this. Let's 
I'm gonna move it in the Z axis until the height matches. Like that. So pretty sure the height is matching now. Now let me just move it in the X axis to match it on the end as well. So that is looking good. Now let's get onto the side. Let's fix the bottom because moving it in the Z axis moved it over here as well. So select both of this. Make sure this is the active element. Press S and Z and type in zero. Do the same with this side. S and Z zero. Same with this side. S and Z zero. And finally, with that side. S and Z zero. Like that. So that should help somehow. Once we add in the solidify, but we need to add in an edge loop that will go all the way through to this side to the top. We'll do all of that in the next video and add in the solidify. All right, I think we just have one more thing to do, but let me first of all go in here, press Control and R through here, I guess. Or yeah, let's press Control and R through here, here and here. So I want to get to the side view. I want to take this, press G, and I'm going to move this down to about here. Do the same thing over here. Move this down to about here. I want to take this to press G twice. Let's move that. No, G twice. And let's move that all the way here. Do the same with this. Press G twice. Slide that all the way here to sharpen that area like that. So with that done, I'm just going to make sure of something. So let's change the image real quick. Let's just, come on. Let's change the image to something like, um, which one shows it much? I think this one. Yeah. So let's take a look at the back area. So it starts all the way from here. The extrusion point starts all the way from here. So that'll be from this point here. So let's just get down here. First of all, let's undo those things that we're pulling. Let's move them back to their position. And let's use the knife tool and cut it from here to the down here. Press E to make a new cut and cut it from here to here as well. Now take these four and press F like that. So you can see what that gives us. Very nice area down there. So we, we, we can still keep this over here. Or we can dissolve them. I'm not sure. Maybe we should just dissolve them and keep them as is the way before. So like that. Now we're going to take all of these edge loop. We have a supporting edge loop around it. So it should be good. I'm just going to press Ctrl and R2 here now. Press E to align it with the bottom and move it around here. Like that. So we're going to take all of these now. And we're going to move it out. First of all, let's remove it from the vertex group. And we're going to move it out just like the front area, like that. Okay, like that. And no, wait, I don't think we. No, 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 that's not the one we're supposed to pull out. So let's get on to the side. And let's press let's press F, alright? Let's go into wireframe. And we're going to hit I to insert the face to give us the amount or the ones that we want to pull out. I think that the amount. It's good. This amount is good. Where did the image go? Let's open it again. The image just went away. Um, where is it? Where is it? Alright, there it is. So open it. I don't know why it just went away, but it just went away. Alright, so insert it about that much. Press X and delete the faces. And let's make sure they are flat with the surface. So select these two, make sure the active element is the one next to it and let's just flatten them out let's just flatten them out like that move this in the y axis to keep the diagonal going and now let's slide these ones instead so just slide these ones like that including this that's the last one and nice so we're gonna move up here as well take this to press s and z type in zero do the same with this side s and z type in zero and now we're gonna move this out a little bit more in the y axis like that yeah so let's get into solid view I'm gonna take these ones these are the ones we're gonna remove from the vertex group alright so remove them and let's I think we remove these let's assign them and let's go into wireframe and I'm gonna deselect the ones that we're supposed to remove or well, let me just say we're gonna select the ones that we're supposed to remove which is all of these ones over here excluding that one and remove them from the vertex group let's go into solid view yeah, that is, that is it. So select all of this and let's pull it out like this to create the part that is supposed to pull out nicely like that. Just going to pull it out some more. Just a little bit more to about there. Let's compare it with the one on the fender. Yeah, so I think that is about it.
That is about it. For sure. Yeah, so that's it. This is what we're looking to achieve. I'm just gonna press Ctrl and R. Add one. Oh, let's just let's pull this out just a teeny tiny bit more like that. Press Ctrl and R. Press E to align it with the one on the very outside and pull it to about here and click to confirm. So you can see what we have. I'm just gonna go into full view to take a look at this. And yeah, so that is what we wanted to achieve. You can see here's more beveled than the one above it because these ones were removed from the vertex group. Okay, so all of these ones here are not in vertex group, but the ones above it are all in it. But I guess we can get away with that. It's not really much of a big deal. It's not really causing much of a problem. So we'll keep it. All right, so I guess this is all ready for solidification. That is what we'll be doing in the next video and hopefully it doesn't take too long solidification and also adding an edge, extra edge loop to support the solidify which we already have we haven't put any on this side so we'll put some on these sides to support it and I think at the top as well maybe I'm not sure but yeah we might and yeah and also at the back here okay we already have one there so in the next video we'll do all of that and Hopefully that will finish this piece here, which took about, I think, six parts or five parts to finish. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you save your work, just like I just did. I mean, like I just did. Um, let me get out of full screen. Yeah, press enter, hide that. I'm going to save that one more time. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Our hood is missing, but we'll, we'll do that. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right.